What's up, everybody? We're uh, coming at you with another reaction video. It's your friendly neighborhood, Hug Nichols, and always by my side, Ha Sam. Ha Sam. And today, <laughs> another Elisa Bonna Abra. <laughs> Amazing performance. Uh, at least that's what this says. Amazing praying for time is what she's singing. So let's go ahead, check it out, see what's going. And it says her last song. Damn. Well, live show week three. Mm. Is this when she gets okay. eliminated again for the millionth time? Mm. Everybody says she gets eliminated a lot, so I don't know exactly yeah. what's going on with I this. I don't like that. Let's see this up. Take a drink about a drink. We are starting off this evening with the gorgeous little tiny oh. weenie Elisa. I was like, gorgeous. Aww. <laughs> We haven't seen this performance. I want to see this. Uh -oh. Lisa, you're gonna have to put your own unique twist on a song. Uh -oh. I think Simon's right. For my previous performances, I sang a powerhouse ballad. Hopefully, this week Simon will like the version that I will do. I hope so. I think Alisa Stamp is like more emotional and soulful. This week, I'm gonna sing "Pray for Time." I will really need to prove I can relate to the song. She's got pipes. Her daddy's a plumber or something because she got pipes. Telling of the story, that's just not coming across, and that's because you don't know well enough yet. When you're confident on a song, there's no moments are boring. I'm yep. really worried with my lyrics because if I cannot connect with the lyrics, the whole song will be ruined. The, the lyrics of the song. Really I think that's what's. About tough time with some of these performance shows really is they pick actually, your songs or they you know, limit what you can pick from. Yeah. yeah. Because it's like open hand on the lyrics. It's, it means poverty. Yeah, poverty. And the beggars and the choosers are like similar in the Philippines. So I can really, really relate to this song. Yeah. Ooh. Very emotional watching it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll do it. This song suits your voice. It really does. I get goosebumps listening to you. I love that jacket. Yeah, no, me too. Rocking. I'm very proud of you. People are saying Sharon is being harsh on her, but Sharon is like really nice there. Well, now we haven't seen everything. She looks beautiful. She does. We saw the tears of the beggars in the shoes. The lyrics wow. in this are legit. She's powerful with her vocals, you know. gospel voice. She does. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love the lights in the background the, too. It like it adds show. to <laughs> That's my girl! That's my girl! Yes! They're jamming out. I'm jamming out. <laughs> She Girl. got up in there. Yeah. She and then got her up in makeup it a little is bit. Fly. Just say it. She be looking good. She got up in it. She got up in it. Simon's sipping whatever Simon's he's like, drinking. Simon's like none of my business. Like, I don't love it. Where does that big voice come from? 
You come out like a little Filipino tigress and you <laughs> sing every note. Yes. And it's all perfect. You pick the right song, praying for time. This is your time. Yeah, it is, girl. Yes, it is. Oh, it's so good. I'm just still that. That's so good. Babe, you are... Like Louis said, you're such a little thing, but your voice is limitless. It has it no boundaries to it. Right <laughs> <laughs> That's for the effects. Exactly, we're like in her world. It's a fantasy right now. I always said you're a little Disney warrior princess, and you take us to your world. You are a little Filipino powerhouse up there, and when you just sing, you open up, and your heart and your soul just soar out. Beautiful, stunning performance. It was amazing. It was amazing. Where is she? Yeah. You're right there, okay. Alisa, you know what? I knew you were going to sing that song well. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. You have an amazing voice. Here's my only issue. I'm going to keep saying this to you. Go on. This is not... <laughs> not going to move the dial. In other words, mm. there, were too, there was too much cream in the coffee, right? So in other words, some people like that. I like a lot of. I know you do. You drink more I, cream I like than cream coffee. Than coffee. Well, what I'm trying to say is, is that everything, every time you do one of these songs, it's very old-fashioned, and that's not why you're here. You want to be a contemporary singer. I still don't think this girl yet. So to call you a you look like it. I still don't think you've nailed your version of a song yet, and you didn't have the opportunity tonight. Found that was great. You're just looking for negativity. <laughs> I get where he's coming from, but like, it was, maybe that is her style. Yeah, like, what if that's what she yeah. It For me, uh, the one thing I do agree with is, is that you have been amazing, but you haven't been had that one moment that is yours. You haven't had that yet. See, I feel like all of her performances have been great. Yeah. And we that might be how she wants to be. Maybe she doesn't want to be a contemporary artist. Like, Sometimes it's good to be old fashioned. And what do they want you to do? Break into rap every week? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. She's broken into rap. You're being true to the artist that you are. She has rapped on this show. And Simon, Simon, just picking up on that. We all know what sort of artist Delisa is. This is the artist, the kind of artist she wants to be. Right now, Whenever she was doing the sing-off. headline weddings, uh, and that's not what no, she wanted. No. Well, it wasn't like rap, but it was like yeah, Jesse J's part mm. of um, Yeah, um, with this Bang song, Bang. Like, I'm kind of emotional with this song because um, like in, in the Philippines, we experience these kind of issues, and it's like I just can't stop myself from crying, but I really need to push this hard and like sing this very perfect song. Well, you're terrific tonight. Uh, well, yeah. Listen, here's my thing. Okay. Like, all decision. right. There's nothing else. Okay. So here's my thing. Like, I that makes me so mad. Up, up, like, I'm really up, triggered up. right now. I get where he's coming from. I Absolutely. Because I've talked about it, and I've talked about these type of shows favor contemporary songs they yeah. favor contemporary artists but saying that she's never made a song her own if her style is classical you know not classical but you know like that old Older school, school that like that like ballad that like busting out love song style yeah which is very popular in the philippines yeah, very, very popular. Very popular the because, and it also reminds me of like musicals. Like you could go to like Broadway, and it's like oh, yeah. her voice would be perfect for that. That because it has that not, older feel. But that's not X Factor. It's not musicals X-Factor. is not X Factor. It is not X Factor, but it could be. Well, it could be. Yeah, because well, she is good enough to be super successful. Oh yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm just like, saying the musical side. And for them to say that she's never had a moment of her own when yeah. she she did Jesse J's Bang Bang that we saw. But that's that is so contemporary. Yeah, but I'm I've I I can't even argue that. Like I wouldn't say that's her moment. We've seen other things that were like huge. Like this was a moment. Jesse J's part is like that's cool. But like out of her wheelhouse, it doesn't. It didn't. When she hits like these amazing notes, when she hits like. When she just opens up and lets it go, I'm like, every single time she's done that, to me, that's been a moment. Exactly. But so, like, whenever I, we, I, and I agree with you in this, because when she did Jessie J's part, it was like, okay, that's not her. It didn't, yeah. like, like, you could hear her doing it, and I'm like, I know that that's not her, because when she comes out and she does stuff like what we just watched, and I'm like, that's her. That is, you can just tell, like, that's what she's comfortable doing. 
the which thing tells is, you that sometimes that is you gotta get out of your style. comfort zone. So I'm very torn because as somebody that that grew up loving American Idol and watching shows like this that were like song competitions, I get it. I really do. I feel like she's an amazing, talented artist. I feel like she could win. I feel like she's got the vocals. But also, on the other hand, how many seasons of shows like these have I seen people that were like, man, they were the best vocalists. They absolutely, every single time they came out and slayed it, come in third. Come in second. You know what I mean? Over the person who was contemporary and flashy. And also another thing... I'm just saying, separating the competition... From the performances. Yeah. Because you gotta... Uh, when you're watching shows like this, you have to separate the two. Because the best artist, the best vocalist, isn't necessarily the one that they're looking for to be the best performer. Because she's not, like, out there pandering to the she audience. Can't, like, and like and twerk and all this Yeah, stuff you know what like, I mean? Like, pandering. Yeah, yeah no, I get that. You know that. what I'm saying? But also, she does not need to change who she is for this show. If she... And I know this this sucks. But that's true though. They they want people to change to fit what they see as being the But if the star. she believes that this is her her style mm. and she has a great backing cuz like she's I I'm all team Alisa and yeah. and I know all of you in the comments love her, you mm-hmm. know. So it's like she shouldn't change if this is who she is. She shouldn't like change who she is and what she likes to do because of their opinions. Here's and the thing, I'm though. afraid that oh, she will. She, okay, so you're making two separate arguments. Okay, one is, do you want to win the show? Well, that's what I'm saying. If she needs to say, "Deuce is a show," I'm gonna go do bigger and better things because. But by winning believe- the show, opens up doors to do bigger and better things. However you want. Look at there's this. Dude, so it's like you kind of like fake it till you make it, and then it's you- not even necessarily fake it. It's you play the game. It's a game. It's a show. You have to you have and to then jump the she hurdles. Wins and she can do kind of. She can do whatever thing. she wants because, okay. like, it's the same thing as if she didn't she didn't know this song, but she sang it because that was the hurdle yeah. that was given to her. You got to do what you got to do. But that's the thing. That's why I'm trying to separate the two, because she is perfect how she is. She absolutely is an amazing artist. I would support her. I would be all about watching her sing and stuff like that. But I can totally see how in the 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 world, the microcosm getting nerdy of this show, what they expect is different. Yeah. I don't think it would be genuine for her to change her style and try to be contemporary and flashy and whatever. I don't think it would be genuine, but I get why they want that. Because do I think like it's what's right? Popular, that's what sells. Do and, I do I think that's winner, right? No. The winner of the show does get signed exactly. and, and stuff and that is what sells is contemporary. Exactly. It doesn't sell to be old fashioned. So I get that. That's what I'm saying. That. That's why it's hard because we have to separate the two. We have to separate she's an amazing artist from this is a show. If this was just who sings the best with no other, but it's literally called the X factor. It's that it factor. It's that something outside of singing well. And they're looking for like some special like charisma. And I, I think her special charisma is her personality, her humility. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just feel and like there's something that's about not what her. they reward though. There's you know what I mean? something about her that everyone in the audience likes and that's what forces yeah. Sharon to give her exactly. that chair and mm-hmm. you know and it's just like I think that she has a presence about her and that's her that's her thing but that's not what they reward exactly they don't reward the humility they don't reward the the good heartedness they don't reward that however I do feel like that has persuaded them to like give her the chair like yeah. people saying like but it won't get the, her the win it won't do you get what I'm saying? I like, get that, yeah. And it sucks, but that's just the reality of shows like this. Yeah. But, thankfully, because she was able uh, to showcase her talents and, and really uh, kind of shine her light on everybody, yeah. um, it did open up it, it more doors to her. her because there. people have been yeah. talking about her all over Twitter. You know, we watched Elisa. She follows me on Twitter, by the way. We, I just had to say that. We watched Elisa <laughs> like a year ago. On the wish bus. Yeah. Nobody was talking about her. Yeah. Nobody. And we, we found liked her. her then. We were like, wow, we, this girl is awesome. We and found her because she sang a song for a musical. And I was like, I love musicals. Yeah. Let's listen to this. Nobody was talking about her. And then all of a sudden, like a month ago, two months ago, blow, our feeds are just blowing up. Everybody talking about her. Yeah. So regardless, she won. Yeah. She's won. It's like Fourth Impact. Yeah. Fourth Impact's up in the US now. They got signed to a deal. 
They're recording Miami. Well, it also says something like, "Granted, like we, you know, we do a lot of Filipino reactions, and we, we, you know, we are we react reactors. to artists from all over the world. <laughs> from all over the world, but to be able to like at least say, hey." She's from the Philippines. She's doing this in the UK, mm-hmm. and there's people in America that are reacting and loving it. Yeah, that's people from three different like places, parts like of the world, yeah. three different parts of the world, like literally like across the world from mm-hmm. each other, and they're like fighting for her and believing yeah. in her, and so that alone means she's doing things. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So I'm like getting emotional just because I like it. I want her to succeed. You know. She's so yep. good. She's, she's amazing. so sweet. You can tell right. she's sweet. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Uh, if you like it, like it. We'll have more videos up for you later. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.